Hi wonderful humans, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria aka Auntie Vic and I'm so glad you're here. I just really wanted to spend the weekend with you guys just doing some of the things that I really love to do. Spent the weekend trying really hard to relax. I've been feeling really guilty for not putting out the same amount of work as other creators on YouTube. I've been feeling guilty about not having other platforms in which I like to create. And I'm trying to shake it all off. I'm trying to get back to spending time with my body, nourishing my body, hydrating, prioritizing my relationships, and as I've mentioned so many times, making sure I'm always having fun. And I just wanted to take you guys along for that ride this weekend. So let's start at my friend's farm on the North Shore. I spent an entire day at my friend Anne's farm on the North Shore. It was absolutely stunning. I was really living one of my dreams. During the pandemic, Toby and I got really into watching YouTubers who lived off the grid and we were just really fascinated by the lifestyle. We've decided, at least at this point in our life, that we really like the balance of spending time in the city around culture and being able to meet new people and live like that youthful kind of life while still taking the time to be in stillness, to be in silence, and to be amongst the natural world. It was so beautiful. The river was probably my favorite feature of the property. And hopefully in a few years time, we'll be able to swim in it. But for now, it's not really swimmable. I also loved the goats. They are so cute. And I got to hold the baby for a little bit. And midday or so, and her puppy Mele and I all headed to town and got some sandwiches and smoothies. And then we ate lunch in the most scenic, beautiful spot on the property. I was absolutely in awe. It was really nice to get really deep into conversation with her and learn so much about her life as a professional athlete, her travels, and it was really nice to get my hands in the dirt. Feels like when you're spending the day outside, you end up kind of not freaking out about the things you think you'd freak out about. Like I was no longer bothered by bugs or dust or the on and off rain. And I spent a lot of time with this puppy, Hondro. He was so sweet and he just followed me around everywhere. He was just ready to give love at any point in time. And I was just warned not to let him lick my face because he likes to spend time in the cow manure. And then she let me harvest from the garden. Got tons of kale, which I've made salads and smoothies with since. There's nothing like harvesting straight from the ground. Oh my goodness. I didn't know what I was missing out on. And I really need Hondro in my life again. I'm definitely going to go back and visit and maybe even make this a weekly or at least monthly thing where I go and help out on the farm. Maybe one day I'll have my own. We both have the day off today, so we are gonna go grab some breakfast. 
this place that I really like that Toby's never been to. You excited? I am. Yeah. I am. It's gonna be good. What did you think of Sweeties? Oh, it was delicious. It's 10 so out of 10 would recommend. Easily, like yep. one of the best breakfast places here for yeah. sure. It's very, very good. I'm drinking a second or third glass of wine in my jar. Toby's making himself a coffee, what? <laughs> coffee, little liqueur, milk. Oh, well you have this um, cold brew whiskey. Cold brew whiskey so. with. Oh, with just some actual. Cold brew some cold brew coffee and some milk for him so we're just kind of having a cruisy evening I slept for like four hours after breakfast breakfast was so good and yeah and just I always want to show that being healthy and taking your care of yourself is like an act of balance and that there's no one right way to do it and that it doesn't look any type of way and I always feel like conflicted when I don't show this side of things from having some wine or eating at McDonald's or Buffalo Wild Wings, which Lord knows we do all the time, <laughs> and having like a beer and you know, all other kinds of stuff. It's just totally normal. So, cheers. It's time. Wow, what is this color? Is that what I look like? On your lips, there's a, a little bit of color. Stain, yeah. <laughs> it's time to watch the sunset. Are you ready? Yes. Why does it look so orange? Maybe I'm just orange. Well, you said it, not me. Oh, it, it fixed itself. <laughs> I, I turned no longer orange. <laughs> A dash of salt, too. What is it? <laughs> we are going to make chocolate syrup. Chocolate! We just finished. Oh, it's really close up. We just finished watching. Um, wow, my hair looks crazy. No, it's great. This is kind of weird in the lane. We just finished watching the Ed Sheeran. Is wiggling. The Ed Sheeran series on Disney Plus. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. But it made us cry. And I feel all like puffy and sad. It was, but it was like, it, it was, was really, 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 good. really good. But right now, we're both craving crepes. Which I don't know how we're gonna do this because we don't have um, dish soap. So we need to do all these dishes, but we don't have any dish soap for it. Anyways, I'm gonna make chocolate syrup because we can't have crepes without chocolate syrup. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> and we have strawberries and we have bananas. And it's just going to be so, like, perfect. So, I'm going to start making this syrup. Um, so, the first thing in the recipe, it's a very complicated recipe, calls for sugar. I think that's literally all we have. I used all, used all of my sugar. And then even parts. I should have done that. Never mind. I should have done that in a different order, but a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of measurement. It's gonna be all of our cacao too. Really? Oh dang. We're done so. Time to get some more of all those things. <laughs> Did you breathe it in? <coughs> yeah. It's not good to breathe. Is this a teaspoon? Yeah, it's just like... It's like everything is gone. Out of everything. Put it on low. Uh, and then whisk it. What's cooking? Oh, what do we got going on here? Crepes. I don't know if this is going to turn out well. <laughs> 
don't want to have faith, but like, what did I do? You just gotta believe. You gotta try. <laughs> Trust the process. If the moon tells you something, believe it. <laughs> I feel like I didn't whisk it. Okay. Whisk it for the biscuit. Whisk it. For the crepe. Whisk it for the crepe. Oh, yeah, I see a couple clumps in there. I thought those were bubbles. No, I think it's like, it's said to me. <laughs> I can't. It's said to mix in the eggs first. I don't know. This is like, I've never, I've made crepes before like many times. So I've never made it in this way. I don't know. It's been I've helped people make crepes before, but it's been quite a long time, so I'm not the best person to uh, ask. As long as it tastes delicious, we have no problem. I want to see you pour that chocolate on there. Ready? Mm. It's kind of, yeah. Oh, wow. What? I made that. Uh, I don't need a lot, I don't think. No, no need. It's gonna be perfect. Just snipping on there. Wow. Oh. <laughs> See. Ooh, I wonder if this would be better with the creamer. The functional creamer. 